Hi, I wanted to talk to you today about what I'm doing now. I've been working on the water line. Unfortunately, it's a little bit dark in here. I apologize for that. So I got some lights out. I do have the tank in. The hose is hooked up. I have the pump. Now, I did run new line. Here's some of the old line. They had this old line like pieced together with a bunch of different pieces. There's some there. Some down there. Now, I do still have uh, a couple parts to buy. As you can tell, the water is hooked up. Now, I wanted you to see what I did. Under the sink, I still have to hook this up. I need to get a three-way T for this, half inch, so I can install this. But I do have a three-way T here. And you're going, well, why would you have that going up instead of just hooking up to your water hook up there? Well, this is actually going somewhere else. This hose here goes to the cold water side on the sink. And I will be tying into this hose down here with this. So if we can find a place to hook up a water hose, um, we will be able to use full water. If not, this will be pulling from the tank. Now I have this hose here going up to the sink, the cold water side. Now this hose here, the one coming off the top, is going right over here. To my tankless hot water heater now I am going to put some metal behind this and I can actually lower this a little bit more probably about another six inches if I wanted to and it will be on top of the fridge <clears throat> you can see there's still a lot of dirt in here I haven't really been doing much but right here I put the hot water heater here because right above it it's a big air vent. So any fumes this will make will go out that vent. And I will be putting a piece of metal behind it and bringing it out away from the wall. So I don't I won't have to worry about the wall heating up. But that goes right to here. So if we don't have water and we're having to run it off our tank it will still go into the hot water heater now I am going to replace this hose this is the uh, shower shower hose where the hot water comes out I'm going to replace this here and I already have a hot water hose ran so I can tie on to a T here and then this hot water line here I need a T for here this hot water line here goes to the hot water line, uh, the side of hot water on the sink. And then it will be spliced off and coming here. Into the shower. So that's what I've been doing. I do need to get a couple more parts. Now, what I did was I did use um, water hose, you know, water safe, drinking safe water hose for this. If you're going to use water hose or anything else, and you buy one of these pumps, unless you're going to use a 3 8 hose, then get a pump with a half inch. It, it'd just be easier to work with. To get it to fit, and now if you have to, to get it to fit, I have some hoses, in fact a bunch of hoses, out of old coffee pots that went bad. And I save almost everything, so I have a whole bunch of these uh, just laying around all over the place. So, to get it to work on this 3 8 pump, 
I shoved that hose inside the other hose. And then once it's all the way flush, I put it on, well basically I put this hose first, put this hose on first on my water pump, and then I shoved that hose and that hose all the way in, and then I clamped it down. So this hose actually has a smaller hose in it to keep it from leaking. And once it's clamped down, it's a pretty good seal. But you can see, this is just temporary. I did make enough hose that I can run it to the back, towards the back wall. Um, but right now, the old hot water heater, which is right there, is in the way. It's going to come out. So, there will be no hot water heater there. But before I can do that, I have to get some, a piece of metal for the outside where it's coming out from. So I can patch that. And once again, I will be putting another T on that line to hook up to this. So I can hook this on the outside. Then it goes over, like I said, that way the hot water heater can run either off the tank and pump or it can run off of a water hose from the outside. And that's what I'm trying to accomplish here. And right here, I could absolutely just leave this hooked up like it is now. If all I wanted was cold water in the sink, but since I want hot water, I'm going to get an adapter for here so I can hook this hose up to the hot water side and that way that'll go to the hot water side of the sink and then the shower goes out but that's what I've been working on don't forget if you get one of these little pumps they require fuses I do not have an extra fuse holder right now that's why the wires aren't hooked up. Um, I'm also getting a switch. So if I don't want this on, I can just turn the switch off. <clears throat> the tank was cleaned out. And I believe this is a 35 gallon tank. Um, I did clean the tank inside the tank with bleach water. So the inside is clean. And don't forget if you do something like this, your overflow hose needs to be hooked up, which is right there at the top. That way it, if it overflows, it will, you know, throw the water back outside. Plus it acts as an air line. So, you know, some air can get in there while you're filling up your uh, tank. But there we go. That's what I've been working on. All right, well, that's it. I'm facing go. I thought I'd share um, an update on what I've been doing with the camper. I did this today. It took me about 30 minutes, I guess, uh, to hook all this up. So, and that includes uh, the splice there. And if I would have had more parts than I needed, all this would have already been hooked up. I have to get some more clamps right there I need to get three or four more of those and I have to get a T to hook up here I have plenty of hose so that's not an issue I have to get the stuff to fix this up so I can bring this down and put a T on it so I can hook the hot water line up to the uh, sink and I already have a hole drilled here for the propane line to come up and hook up that's the propane that's 
the cold water and once again that's the hot water and it does go through the wall I could leave the shower here I can move it back I mean I could put the shower up here on the wall and I still have the shutoff hooked up the reason I have a shutoff on this is because these water heaters if the water shuts off the water heater shuts off but as long as the water's going that hot water heater is going and it does have an automatic shut off after like 20 minutes or so but you don't want this because it's constantly running as long as you have water going through the line so I could put some type of um, you know faucet system in here with hot and cold water but with the hot water heater right here it's easy enough to adjust where we can make it just lukewarm and right up under here will be the fridge the mini fridge uh, there's a line here I don't know if you can see it that I have to cut out so the fridge will slide up in here right in here but that's what I've been doing is working on the water so uh, that's it um, I'm fixing to go and like I said I will be redoing the water line I have plenty of hose here once this hot water heater comes out I will be putting the water line much much closer to the back wall And unfortunately, um, that may take a while for me to get the, the, the metal that I need to close off the big gaping hole that's going to be outside when I pull that out. But remember, if you get one of these pumps, it requires a fuse. Mine requires a 4 amp fuse. Now here is the line for the 12 volt from the old pump. I will probably not hook onto that. I will probably just run a whole new wire for this. And we'll see. I, I'm not sure. But we'll see. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I wanted to share what I've been doing with the camper. Uh, I, like I said, I still have to get some more parts. I still have to hook this one up. Once I get another half inch T, it'll take me, you know, in three clamps, it'll take me maybe 20 minutes because I have to drill through the camper uh, to put this on alright I'm fishing to go this is update number 8 I believe and I'm fishing to go and everyone have a good day bye